With the adoption of drone technologies, we are able to quantify the problematic area. We are able to spot spray a lot of areas versus broadcast chemicals across the whole field. So that results to uh, less chemical being used on the whole farm. And also spray drone has the ability to spray very precisely around the crop field. And also with the scouting drone usage, we are able to see where crops needing the most input and be able to utilize those inputs more precisely to reduce waste, to reduce fertilizer runoff, to reduce fertilizer leaching. So I think these drone technologies will have a very good usage and can, possible, can make a positive impact on our life and our environment. For farmers who adopt spray drones and scouting drones, they will be able to utilize these drones to monitor their crop growth, crop health, and be able to identify the uh, different amount of inputs required by uh, different section of the fields. Those new technologies will enable us to pinpoint those not so productive areas and also divert your input and be able to utilize those resources such as fertilizers or seeds more precisely. But I think spray drones do have their own fit into the cropping system, particularly in areas like Southeast, where we have smaller fields, prolonged wet periods, uh, and also um, some area do not have crop duster service. I think the spray drone is a really good complement to the current application methods. Again, the point is we're not trying to replace the ground rig or the airplane. We want to complement those and make the system perform even better. The current drone adoption rate is not very high because this is still a very new technology. However, the interest among growers, crop consultants, and the pesticide applicators are very high. And I believe the adoption rate is, go is go only going to be higher considering they are easier to use and they are very user-friendly these days. I started my weed science career as a graduate student at Fowler University. I received my uh, master's degree in turf weed science, and then I moved on to University of Georgia and conducted a bunch of projects in uh, weed science, row crop weed science, and obtained my PhD degree. I was hired back as extension weed science by Auburn University. I had a lot of um, uh, interest working with growers to resolve their on-farm weed issues and in the last two three years we have been working with new technologies drone application all of those to precisely deliver those crop protection chemicals on their farm hopefully what we do will make a positive impact on people's life